Okay, so that's it. <laughs> that's my result. Um, yeah, additionally, I said that if the database is older than two weeks, it will get updated automatically when you log in. But you can also choose to update the database manually if you just um, connect a button here and you click here, the database of the, of the of course of all LCA profiles will be updated. But then you need to, to restart trying, of course, to use the the updated one. But this is my this is my result and now what we can do is to let's uh, keep it here is to visualize the results in the rhino viewport so for that we need our um, visualize results component and we just need to connect the output of the run lca component so there we go and <laughs> yeah we're already seeing the results here um, for clarity what i want to do is to hide this uh, reference geometry here so that uh, the visualization is not overlapped. So let's say preview of. Okay, and now let's see which kind of options we have here. So um, basically we have options for the colors of the visualization and also for the, um, the numeric results, right? So for instance, let's say that we want to see the result absolute and now we are seeing the result for uh, every beam and every column, right? In this case, 200 kilo CO2 for this one. And for the slab, that should be in the middle of, of everything, like 20,000 uh, kilos of CO2. Then result by volume. But this is very tricky. This is very tricky because um, it is important that we are not mixing units, right? Because the result by volume will divide the result absolute by the un by the quantity of that particular material but of course if one material um, comes in square meters it is going to be divided between square meters and the other one if it comes in in cubic meters it's going to be divided by cubic meters so if you uh, select this this output uh, this uh, option uh, keep this in mind and i would recommend to select the same unit for every material right so in this case we selected square meters because this is a surface but since we have assigned a thickness right, what we can do is use uh, cubic meters and the result should be exactly the same. Right? So we have just seen, we have just seen that the, that the result, um, the volume result has just uh, changed, right? Because now we are using um, kilos of CO2 divided by cubic meters, sorry. And of course, uh, what uh, we can do is to modify the. What we can do also is to modify the, the geometry of my uh, model. So when we change the dimensions, we can see that uh, well, in this case, this is uh, results by volume. So <laughs> this is not uh, going to change yet. But if we uh, set the the uh, results in the, the absolute results, right? we can see that when we change the dimensions of the building, the results update automatically. Uh, there you go, you can see the, the results of the, of the beams and of the slab, how it changes. Of course, uh, for the columns, it is exactly the same. And we can get the um, total result. And we can see, and the, the great thing is that, uh, of course, the result gets updated, but we don't. Uh, but it, it happens almost instantly, right? So. Uh, this is great for uh, optimizations, as we are going to see later on. And 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 let's get back to our um, visualize component here. So, okay, and we also have the results by class, and I really love this option because because then now you have just a one result for for each class, right? Right, one for the whole um, beams, then for the slab, and then for all the columns. And this is very very visual, right? Of course, in in especially in case that. Uh, you have very complex models and then of course the the percentage of um, its element in relation with the complete with the whole model and the quintile intensity and absolute share it means that all the elements are broken down into uh, five groups and then uh, each one gets um, let's say a number so the slab could be the most contributing one and then the beams and then the columns and status okay it means a success so the, the calculation worked and comment in case that we add any comment to our constructions as we did for the timber slab and uh, it's important to, to also highlight the resources and the units you can also show and the class 
this is important also for uh, checking our results as we are going to see later on how helpful this visualized component can be and of course we can also uh, change the color scheme uh, playing with different um, different options I, I would recommend of course so that um, both <laughs> the the numbers right and the the colors uh, are using the same criteria as in this case I think the, this looks uh, very nice but of course you are free to play with different configurations for your results okay and of course we can also filter in case that we just want to to show a particular um, part of our model i think this is again this is going to become really useful for uh, the the complex model later on and we can of course filter by material as well and yeah of course then we can also filter the lower and upper bounds right in case that uh, it helps us also visualize the results better okay so that's it and and before we finish this example i just wanted to show the last component which is analyze lca and what this does is it basically deconstructs the uh, lca objects either um, lca profile materials or construction so we can select here lca profile and we can here we come here we plug this guy here and now we can see the name the units uh, the, the units is it is the allowed unit so this is useful of course when you connect the lci profile here you are just getting the allowed units then the epd program the domain country material uh, subcategory and type and uh, yeah of course we have a similar thing for materials i'm not going to do it and for constructions and that is that this is though <laughs> very interesting because we can see we can um get the, the results here in case i don't know that you want to get the, the to, to get the, the results of, of a particular uh, class here not just uh, visually in the viewport but also numerically so what you can do for instance is to filter the beams and now you are just getting the beams as output and you can use for instance the mass addition component here and you can uh, get the, the total result for all the beams and or for the columns for instance or i don't know you can also filter by by material so this is very that's very uh, interesting in my opinion let's uh, keep it to all and also the other results that are also very very interesting and yeah just feel free to play with these components as you want.